17 was my first year in business. I made six figures with no business knowledge, just somebody playing around different strategies. I would really look at my competition and be like, well, what are they doing? What can I do? Um, and that's what I teach my students too in the Boss Academy. You got to look at what the competition is doing. You don't even need any business experience, but if you're somebody who takes direction and who can actually implement what you see, you can be successful because that's all people, competitors, businesses, that's all they do. Um, Burger King and McDonald's, look how they always back and forth. Then you got Walmart and Target. Then you got, um, it, it's just so many different, you know, Costco, Sam's Club. It's like, you just got to look at the people in your industry and it's so easy to have a successful business. You just got to have the mindset and the time to actually implement this stuff. And you got to be persistent because it's the, it, it does, it's not an easy task and it's not an easy journey. From 2016 to now 2022, I'm finally opening the store. And a lot of other stuff in between those years happened to me, like life, baby, you know, different things that slowed me down. But I kept going. So good morning, good morning, good morning. Here we are, February 1st, Black History Month, and I am on my way to the store. Um, today we're gonna be putting up the wallpaper inside of the bathroom. So that's very exciting. Please excuse how I look. I do not have a wig on today because girl, I need my hair done, but we is, I'm just coming from dropping my daughter off, so we just had to run out the house and make it work. So, this is what I do on the days where I do not have my hair done. I just throw my hat on. This only work in the winter time. This don't work in the summer. But I throw my hat on and uh, I, I get, I, I goes out the door. So, um, we on our way to the store. We're going to put up some wallpaper. And I believe my wig heads came. So, I'm going to my um, UPS mailbox to pick up my packages to see what it is but i believe it's the wig heads that i ordered i ordered four of them so i will take you guys on that journey but we are almost there we are in the second the the middle portion of you know getting this store up and ready and launch so but i will let you know when we get to the store and I'll talk to you later and cold in Jersey today Friday no uh, November February 4th 2022 so as you can see I have the ladder in the back today we're going to be putting up the grass wall so and if you hear me better that's because I actually bought a mic for my iPhone because when I listen to the playback it sound really really low so I was like I need a microphone so people they can hear me so going forward, the video quality, the sound quality will be A1, okay? But so today we're going to meet Verizon. They're going to be putting, like hooking up the internet and the phone. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm actually on my way there to meet the guy because he said he's on his way. Um, I got my ladder in the back and I got my grass in the back too. You can't see it, but it, I got this truck is packed. It's jam-packed. And it's a lot of room in this truck, and it's, it's jam-packed. So that's what we're going to do. Um, putting up the grass wall because I had a budget for this place. I did not want to go over my budget, and I'm already over my budget. And I still have a couple more things to buy. So the flower wall that I originally wanted to put up will cost me a good little penny. And I'm like, I could wait. I could wait for that. 
Um, I really wanted to do it because it would just look so bomb, but I decided to just do the grass without the flowers because it's cheaper um, and you can get it like really quickly. And the flowers, they would have to be made in the people in China talking about a month for the ship to deliver to me. So I'm like, I don't have a month to wait. So I'm just going to use the flowers because you can get them off. I mean, the grass because you could get that off of Amazon like real real quick and they ship it right away so that's what I'm going to do I actually have a couple so I'm going to put up what I got today and see how much more I need and then buy some more and then that should be done and then I'll be waiting for my two intense beauty signs that I purchased um then I'm going to put them up um oh yeah and then I'm going to be putting up my mannequin that I did and I'm going to take another mannequin mannequin so I could do another one so I want to do um a brown skin one a light skin one a dark skin one I have four so I'll probably do another brown skin one so two brown skin one light skin one dark skin so that's what it's looking like right now I'm in traffic in the rain and um oh yeah if you see my wig it's not on girl because gluing is down I, my skin is very sensitive so i get irritated so i can't have them glued down even with like got to be or lately i've been using the liquid gold by boho which i, I kind of like it now better than it got to me because it it's a faster stick um and it's not runny so i've been using that but even like any type of adhesive it just causes my skin to irritate after like the first five days so if i'm not going somewhere like to an event or like somewhere i don't use actual glue i use the spray the whatever it's called the the, the spray um but lately i haven't even been using the spray and then i tried the liquid gold and i like it so i use the liquid gold twice but i haven't even been using that because I just don't like the wigs on my skin. Like, they itch. They start to itch me. And then I get, like, little dry patches and stuff. So, I just, I don't even, like, put my my wigs down on a consistent basis. I plop them on, throw a hat on, and I'm out the door. So, today I'm going to put my mask on. And my mask is going to hold these two little flaps down for me once he come. But I'm good to go. That's what I do because I ain't got time. Then I come home, take the hat off, take the wig off, and I'm free. I like to be free with my braids and stuff. I don't know. It's just like I don't know. I can't I can't wear the wigs for too long. But that's just my little my little secret. Now you know. But yeah. So I will come back to you because I've been driving and talking. I will come back to y'all when I when I start get once I get to the store hey you guys so Verizon just left from putting up the phone the phone actually works so now I'm about to staple some of this onto the wall now I brought my ladder I actually like hijacked the ladder from my aunt's house she don't even know and her chair as well because there's no chairs here so I have a long chair and her ladder and I am about to put up some stuff on the wall um so yeah y'all watch me <laughs> is from my house i actually put these in my house because um a little like last year a couple months ago i was doing like instagram lives and i wanted a nice backdrop so i ordered the grass ball so this exactly this exact amount fit my house but as you can see this wall is pretty long so i think this is like two sets which is 24 all together so i think i'm going to order um two more sets for this part portion and 
I'm gonna order two more sets first and see what I come up with. And I might need a third one. So altogether, I may order another three to put over here, you know, finish it off, connect it, go over here. Because I want it to go from this way all the way to the corner. Um, originally, I was thinking to put grass here and grass here to cover up the white space because originally I had wanted this whole wall to be with the black curtain. But because the curtain rod did not fit the whole wall, I have these two parts that are like as they are. And I don't really care for that. So what I'm going to do is um, I think I'm going to order flower panels just like these panels but some that has flowers on it already and just put it down here um, just to like switch it up from the grass because I don't want grass like going all the way around. I feel like that's just too repetitive and too much. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet for this wall here um i was thinking about doing like a flower frame but i'm not sure uh, what i'm gonna do um but that's a thought in my mind i think that'll be cute oh let me show you the bathroom so this is the restroom sign that i put up and this is the bathroom so he has to come and finish the wallpaper it goes these ceilings are super super high um, that's the wallpaper. This mirror, I actually changed this mirror and I'm going to change the light too. And then we have to put the rest of the wallpaper over here. I'm waiting for it to come in the mail because it actually ran out. But that is it for the bathroom. Then I'm going to buy like plants and stuff. Um, but so far, this is it, y'all. It's coming together and then my couch should be coming next week. The couch is going to be here. So that's why I'm trying to put this up before the couch comes. But if it comes, it comes before the panels come. I'm going to go home and order more panels tonight. Um, but that's it, y'all. I just wanted to show y'all the progress. Oh, I'm about to put up some boxes. So I'm about to put these boxes up here, down here, and up top. Depending on how many I have, because I only have one box. I have more in storage, so... I have to go get some more of my boxes, well, all of them, and, like, open them up, put them, stack them back here. And then I'm going to get, like, a rack here. I got some things that I want to do. And then I think, I feel like I'm going to get, like, a station here, like a table with a mirror. And, like, so I can have a curling iron so I could like, show how the product curls and stuff. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <music> from where? You gonna put green all the way on this wall? This entire wall? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you gonna put your sign somewhere on it? Hello? Oh. Hello? Hello? What's wrong with your house? What's wrong with the house? What's wrong with the house? So here we are back again. Today is February 7th and FedEx just delivered my couch. So I almost missed it. He almost put it on the side and I had to, I would have to drag it 
all the way over here by myself and I'm so happy I caught him because nobody dragging this in the freaking snow. So we are about to, about to watch me cut it up, well cut it open and see how big it is. And I think I'm going to have to put this together, but I left my tools inside my house. So we about to figure this out. And if y'all don't know, I am Mrs. Fix It. I do not mind putting stuff together. I am that girl. I will put it together myself and I do not mind. I'll pick up a hammer and start banging stuff out myself. So let's see what we got to do with this. I wish I had some gloves. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, and it's dirty. Okay, so it needs to go this way. This is the bottom. Okay, so first thing I noticed is it's not as pink as I wanted it to be. It's more like a lavender. And I don't know how I feel about that. Because I wanted it to be like a bright pink. So I don't know. if I Let me cut open the plastic. It's, it's more like a lavender. I don't know how I feel about that. But it's here now. And I am not about to be picking this up to ship it nowhere. So I still don't want to take off the plastic on the pink part yet until I put the feet on. And that's what I'm about to do right now. Do y'all believe men should be doing stuff like this and women shouldn't? I don't really feel like that. I feel like a woman should always know how to do fix stuff and put stuff together. Because the man ain't always going to be there. Let me know in the comments. Do y'all feel like this is a man's job? I mean, if you have a man, then yeah, he could do it. But if you don't have a man, do you feel like you can't do stuff on your own? Like my mom, she feels like she don't she do not do nothing. She like, mm -mm, I ain't doing that. She don't even do, I don't know if they still have that, but like, VC, um, not VCR, DVD players, like, the red, yellow, and blue cords. She like, oh, I don't know how to put that together. I don't know how to connect that to the TV. I'm like, mommy, just plug the yellow with the yellow red. She like, uh-uh, I found somebody to do it for me. And I'm just like, I don't do that thing myself, but my mother don't, she don't put nothing together at all. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> This is how the couch is looking. It's actually a pretty pink color. It is pink. Now that it's all put together. When I first got it, when I was looking at it, I was like, this looks like a lavender, like a purplish pink. But it's pink. And it actually looks really pretty. It's not too bright. And I actually like it. So the couch is here. Now I have to figure out a rug and like a coffee table. Um, I'm going to finish the wall and it's coming together y'all. So I just finished putting up the grass wall. I ordered two more boxes and it still wasn't enough. So I have to order one more box because I have some empty spaces over there. Um, but let me, let me move back so y'all can see. It's coming along. Let me get another angle. <laughs> so this is another angle. And what I've been doing was filling in some of the holes. So they send you extra grass with it. And you got to go in and fill in some of the holes. 
so I have some holes to fill in up there at the top where you see white so when I get the new box I'm going to put in some of the rest of the grass and I think I have some extra grass at home too so I'm gonna do all of that but it's coming along I know how to do this see mm -hmm. I got a surprise for you. What? Come see. What's in the store? Mm hmm. Come here, y'all. <laughs> okay. You cover your eyes? Yeah, so I want to see it. <laughs> you want to see what I did to the store? You're so funny, girl. You are so funny. All right, you ready? Watch your step. Wait, let me turn the light on. Hold on. You see the chair? What I put the you... chair. Uh uh uh. Put it back on the couch. What did you do, girl? I put the chair up and I put the grass on the wall. What did you do to the store, girl? All right, it's enough girls. Enough. Enough girls. It's comfortable? Yeah. Oh, thank you. No, 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 no. That's definitely not my style. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so I'm sitting here at the, sh I'm about to say shop, at the store, um, and my desk is finally about to come, well not my desk, but my cash wrap, it's finally about to come, so that's going to go right here, my cash wrap is going to go right there, um, and then that will be it for the day, I'm just going to start doing some touching up, I ordered some more stuff, I ordered some more grass wall, I'm waiting for that to come, so, but I just cannot wait to see the freaking cash wrap, because I got it custom built, because the ones that I was seeing that was already, like, ready to ship, I didn't like them, and then the one that I actually really liked, I'll show y'all the one that I actually really liked, it was not in my budget, and you guys know I have a budget for this place, so it wasn't in my budget, so I just had to Suck it up and wait until another opportunity comes where I can get a different one. But this one, it should be nice. I really liked it when I saw it on Etsy because that's where I got it from, Etsy. And he sent me the picture and it looked really, really nice. So it's on his way. The guy, the driver said it'll be here in like 10 minutes. Um, if you want to know why I'm sitting here bundled up, it's because the heat in this place sucks. The heat is awful in this place. It's so cold. And today, it's like a really cold day. Let me see what the degrees is. Super cold. It's 21 degrees. When I came outside, it was like 18, 19 degrees. It's super cold today. I have a little heater, and I need to get a bigger heater. But I need to get like two more heaters. Because it's super, super cold. Um, but that's the thing when you live in 
the north is really cold. And that's it. I'm just like super excited. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> um, and I look busted today. I'm drinking a coffee. I just had a bagel. I'm just sitting here waiting, but I don't want to ramble anymore. So when it comes, I'll record. It's here. Woohoo. Like, how wide is it, though? That's how wide it is. I think it could fit. If you turn it, maybe you can't because it's on the pallet. Yeah. I, can I take it off the pallet? Yeah, you can take it off the pallet. Okay. Right. You by yourself? <laughs> I have somebody coming, but I don't know. Oh. You don't got time. I got a call. But it's here. It's, oh, yeah. It would have to go turn sideways. Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably. It's a, a cash register counter. This wide like this? Or this probably no, I, it, the it's, that's the wide box here. Yeah. It's not that wide. And it's it's taller than that. So I think it, oh, it turns. Yeah. Down. Uh huh. So I'm thinking, like, right. I have to, yeah. you could just probably drop it here because he said he's he two minutes away, but I would have to take it off the pallet to get it in because I have to turn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I know it's heavy. So you guys, I'm just, I'm just loving all of this right now. This whole desk just made it feel like so much more official. Like, so I'm really just taking it all in as it comes because this is really like, I can't believe it. I have a store. Girl, if you would have asked me, how did I see 2022 looking? I wouldn't have said this. I would not have said a store to her. I had something totally different in mind for myself and my business this year. But what they say, like, you really got to let life take its course because we have our minds set for one thing. But, you know, life and God has another set for us. And I just... This is, it's happening and I just, I'm just going day by day with the journey. So today is February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day. And 
my desk, my cash wrap has finally been delivered. I put the order in. Uh, I have to check when I put the order in, but it came really fast. Really, really fast. And so I'm still undecided on where the actual reg re register will be. Not sure if I'm going to put the register in the middle or right here or here. Just I'm not sure yet. Thinking about maybe I could put it like, I don't know. So this is just extra storage where bags and hair tags and all of the little things I need to um, package orders. I'm going to put them here. I'm going to store hair in here. Well, you can't see, but the, the dresser that I have back here, I'm going to put hair in here. Um, then I have like a locked up cabinet. All my personal items when I come in, that's going to go there. Because um, it has a key. Um, but yeah, so you guys like the ca the counter? I'm loving the counter. Loving it. And up here, you know, I'm going to put like pamphlets and things for the store. Like I'm creating a rewards program. So I'm going to put that up here. But this is really the beginning of something big. And I can feel it. You know how when you, like I'm getting goosebumps because I can feel it. This is the beginning of intense beauty just blossoming. Whew, I get chills just thinking about it because it's kind of like I started with my paycheck. Okay, I was going broke, maxing out all of my credit cards, let my car get repossessed. I've been through it all. Messed up my credit. When you mess up your credit, that's still on your credit report for seven years. So I did a lot to get here. This was not no fly by night type journey. Um, this year, September 11th, makes six years I've been in business and I started with my job and my paycheck. I started with my own money and look where we are now. So if anybody is watching this video and you are like, you know, feeling like you ain't got enough money or you don't have enough time or you don't even, you know, like you, you're doubting yourself, just start. Start with what you got. And when you need and as you grow, that's when things will come and fall into your lap and put the puzzle together for you. But you got to make the first move and you got to start. It starts with you, not with the bank, not with nobody else, not with nobody else encouraging you. First, you got to encourage yourself. You got to motivate yourself and you got to invest your own money. OK, nobody's going to invest in you. Not even a bank is going to invest in you because they want to see your progress. They want to see how much you're doing on your own. So nobody's going to invest in you, whether it be motivation, um, knowledge, funding until you make the move first. So you can have proof. This world is based off of proof. So go out there and prove the people wrong and start doing what you got to do for your business. Because if I could do it, coming from, I'm from Newark, New Jersey. So if you guys know where Newark, New Jersey is or how Newark gets down, it's the hood, okay? So if I can make it and turn up not a product of my society, you can make it too, okay? It's simple. First, I got to start with you. The sign is up, but I'm actually going to change it because it has a lot of wrinkles in it. When he put it in, um, he didn't really do a really good job, so I had to order another sign. And um, I'm going to put that one up. So, let's go inside. It's really surreal that I have a store, but it's really coming together, y'all. And it's it's kind of like scary. <laughs> it's kind of scary in a way, but in a good way. It's like scary because, you know, when you always dream of having something and now it's like finally here, it's kind of like, wow. 
Like, I really, you know, I made this happen. So let me go get my bag and take my bag to behind the counter because I can do that in my store and put my bag behind the counter. Check me out. From where I started from to where we at now, like who would have thought this place could turn into like something? All it take is a little vision. That's it. Just a little vision. And you can make something out of nothing. For real. Make it your own. I want to record your reaction. I want so you to post it yet. It's not, not, post, not to post okay. Not yet. <laughs> it's not finished. <laughs> Today is February 28th, so March is tomorrow, and my grand opening day is March 20th, which is the first day of spring. So, I'm sitting here in the store right now, um, actually on my laptop, about to do some little tweaking on my website. Um, I put up a little bit of hair on the wall. I'm actually going to be ordering hair this week. Um, so I got some orders to, um, go through right here, but y'all, as it's getting closer, I'm getting like, I don't know, like I'm getting like, my anxiety is going through the roof. I can't sleep. Nobody knows this. Y'all the first people I'm telling, I can't sleep. My anxiety. And I'm just like, I cannot mess up. I got another chance at giving my business a shot. And because I've been through a lot, maybe I'll get into that later on this channel. 
But I got another chance right now to give my business what it needs to scale because scaling is like one of the most nerve wracking and just like the most emotional moments you'll ever have to go through in business. And it, it's got my, my nerves all messed up. It, it's got my emotions all erratic. And I'm just like, this has to work. Like, God, it has to work. <clears throat> sitting here, when I opened the store today, just sitting here, I was just looking around like, I really got a store. Like, I'm so thankful and appreciative for to even be hitting this milestone. Like, it's just like a, wow. And lately, I've just been finding myself just trying to appreciate where I am because I came from nothing. I didn't have nothing. Like, and when I say nothing, I mean, like, no funding, no friends, no parents, nobody to help me fund my business, nobody to... You know, everybody has motivated me, but nobody has, like, made things happen but me. So, for me to have come this far, I congratulate myself. And I congratulate myself for even being persistent and motivated to even keep going. But, so now that I'm here today, I'm just like, wow. Like, we got 20 days until grand opening everybody friends and family keep asking me what's the grand opening date because i have not even (laughs) i'm still in shock i have not even made a flyer or anything like that so i'm gonna make that this week too so i can send it out to people so they can save the date but people just asking me and i'm i'm like no i don't want a big grand opening i don't want all of the because people are just going to like swarm in And I don't want all of that because that is going to make me even more like my anxiety going to even go even more. So that's why I've just been like playing it low. I haven't been really like telling anybody. If you know me, then you know. If you don't, then you don't know. And that's how I want to keep it for this this time anyway. Like when I go to my next location, I'm thinking about having like a whole big ta-da. But this one. I didn't want that. I didn't want that because for this location, I didn't want a really big, extravagant grand opening because I really just wanted to um, impress myself. I didn't really want to impress everybody because this is not to this is not for me to impress everybody. This is for me to show myself that I can do it. So the fact that I've done all of this, this is all that I needed. I didn't need tag me this this and that come see take pictures i didn't need that i just needed to prove to myself that i can do it and it can get done now from there on out people will see and then they'll make their own you know their own um not assumptions but their own they'll come to their own conclusions about you know my journey but my journey is my journey. It's personal. It's not like, I don't care what the public got to say. But the feedback that I've been getting has been reassuring me that, you know, everything is going to be okay. People love what I did so far. And I feel like, you know, I got more more to go. I'm not really finished, but this is how I'm going to start it out. This is how I'm going to open up. Like for this grass wall, I, I have a photo shoot that I'm trying to plan where I'm going to take pictures and I'm going to frame them and put them on the grass wall. Um, and there's some other little things that I want to do that I'm not going to do just starting out, but I'm really excited. And I really love this for me. Like, <laughs> I really love this for me because this is like a dream come true. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to have a hard time. I'm about to tear up, but I, I don't want to tear up on camera because I don't want to be one of those people that be crying on camera by themselves. But this is just like a dream come true. A real dream come true. And I'm just, I'm so happy for me.